tarihin rayuwar ambassador general abdullahi sarki muktar cfr mni mai retire kashi na farko Nigeria kasa ce babba wadda ke daga cikin kasashen Afirka a yankin Afirka ta yamma wannan kasa ta Nigeria ta kafu daga gamayyar wasu manyan dauloli da sarautu da kuma garuruwa masu da daddan tarihi da kuma tarihai na kusa da nesa wadanda ke dauke da mutane masu mabambanta har suna da yanayin mahalli da sauran su masana tarihi sun kawo jerin wadannan dauloli a matsayin daulolin da turawan mulkin mallaka suka ci da yaki daga baya kuma suka hade su waje guda dan samun saukin gudanar da mulkin su an sami mabambanta ra'ayoyi game da yadda kasar Najeriya ta sami sunanta inda wasu ke da ra'ayin cewa ta samu wannan suna ne daga kogin Naija da kuma Kalmar area wanda aka hade su wuri guda suka bayar da sunan Najeriya masu wannan ra'ayi na bayyana wata baturiyar Ingila mai suna Flora Show wadda ta aure gwamna Lugga a matsayin wadda ta samu da wannan suna a shekarar 1914 yayin da wasu ke bayyana Joseph Campbell a matsayin wanda ya radawa Najeriya suna a ranar 10 ga watan Aprilin shekarar 1899 kasar Najeriya ta sami yancin kanta ne daga turawan mulkin mallaka shekarar 1960 kasar ta yi iyaka da kasar Kamaru daga Gabas sai jamhuriyar Benin daga yamma yayin da tai iyaka da kasar Niger daga Arewa sai jamhuriyar Chadi daga Arewa maso Gabas sai kuma kogin Atlantika daga Kudu wanda ya dangana da kasar Gini a yanzu Najeriya na da jahohi 36 daga cikin wadannan jahohi akwai jahar Kano da ake yi wa lakabi da cilla babbar Hausa hakika jahar Kano ita ce cibiyar kasuwanci ta Najeriya baki daya wadda ke da kananan hukumomi 44 ta shahara a fannoni daban-daban na rayuwa da suka hadar da ilimi noma kiwo da tattalin arziki na garta ta fannin rayuwa ta kowace fuska irin wannan albarka da jahar Kano ke da ita ya sanya ta yin fice wajen fitar da nagartattun mutane da suka yi shura a bangarori daban-daban na rayuwa daga cikin irin wadannan mutane da jahar Kano ta samar da malaman addini da na boko da shugabanni a matakai daban-daban da manyan jami'an tsaro a fannonin tsaro daban-daban da sauran su daya daga cikin irin wadannan mashahuran mutane da jahar Kano ta samar akwai babban jami'in soji wanda ya fara aiki tun daga matakin farko har zuwa matakin koli na aikin soja wato janar wanda kuma ya rike makamai masu tarin yawa da suka hadar da gwamnatin jahohi biyu a kasar nan da shugabancin rundunonin tsaro a matakai da dama da cikadancin Najeriya da sauran manyan makamai wannan da na jahar Kano kuwa shine ambassador general Abdullahi Sarki Muktar MNI CFR mai retire. An haifi Janar Abdullahi Sarki Muktar a ranar 5 ga watan Yuli shekarar 1949 a unguwar soran dinki dake cikin birnin Kano a karamar hukumar birni da ke waye. Sunan mahaifinsa Malam Muktar ga Bindi sai kuma mahaifiyarsa Margaiya Malama Hasana Muktar bisa tsarin musulunci da kuma halayya ta Malam Bahaushe Abdullahi Sarki Muktar ya fara koyon ilimin addinin Islama tun kafin ya fara makarantar elementary an saka Abdullahi Sarki Muktar a makarantar primary elementary ta Kofar Kudu a cikin gidan Sarkin Kano a shekarar 1957 zuwa 1960 daga nan ya tafi babban makarantar elementary ta Gwale a shekarar 1961 zuwa 1962 bayan kammala karatun primary wato elementary na shekaru bakwai sai ya samu tafiya makarantar secondary lardi ta Kano wadda a yanzu ake kira da college Rumpa ta Kano daga shekarar 1963 zuwa shekarar 1967 daga nan Abdullahi Sarki Muktar ya samu tafiya makarantar Horas da Jami'an Soji ta NDA ta Kaduna cikin shekarar 1968 zuwa 
da 71 inda ya rike mukamin academic cadet adjutant watu ACA wanda kuma ya kammala da babban sakamako na wanda ya fi kowa da ya bashi damar samu lambar medal kammala wannan makaranta ta bashi damar tsunduma cikin aikin soja gadan gadan sai dai bayan shekaru uku da fara aikin na soja ne aka tura shi zuwa makarantar Horace da Habsoshin soja dake kweta a can kasar Pakistan a shekara 1974 sannan ya sake tafiya zuwa makarantar Horace da jami'an soja masu sa jar hula wadda ake walakabi da kurfan a can jihar Alabama ta kasar Amerika daga shekara 1976 zuwa da 77 bayan nan a shekara 1970 zuwa 1980 ya tafi karo ilimi a jami'ar Ahmadu Bella da ke Zaria inda ya karatun sa na digiri a fannin aikin shari'a bayan ya samu digirin sa sai ya tafi makarantar Horace da Lauyoyi da ke Lagos wato Law School daga shekarar 1980 zuwa 1981 duk wadannan karatuttuka yayi su ne alhalin yana ci gaba da aikin sa na soji a shekarar 1982 zuwa 1983 janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukutar ya je kwalejin Horace da manyan hafsoshin soji da ke jaji a jahar Kaduna sai kuma a shekarar 1992 inda ya tafi babbar cibiyar Horace da harkokin gudanarwa da tsare tsare dake kuru a garin Jos ta jahar Plato wato Nips idan kuma muka dawo batun aikace aikace da Abdullahi Sarki Mukutar ya gudanar anan ma iya cewa bayan kammala kwalejin Rumfa ya fara aiki ne a bankin Barclays dake Bank Road a jahar Kano bankin da a yanzu ake kira da Union Bank a shekarar 1967 wato shekaru 7 kenan bayan Nigeria ta samu yancin kanta daga turawan mulkin mallaka na Burtaniya bayan da ya gama karatun sa na NDA ya fara rike mukamin mataimakin babban jami'in Bataliya ta 19 a shekarar 1971 sannan sai muqaddishin komandan Bataliya ta 170 a shekarar 1971 zuwa da 72 sai mataimakin babban jami'in dakarun tsaro na Bataliya ta 4 daga nan kuma sai likafa tai gaba zuwa matsayin mataimakin babban jami'in Bataliyar dakarun tsaro ta 2 a shekarar 1973 zuwa da 74 bayan nan ne sai aka nada shi mai tsaron babban jami'in rundunar tsaro ta 3 wato ADC a shekarar 1972 a shekarar 1972 zuwa da 73 an tura shi makarantar Horace da jami'ai ta rundunar tsaro ta 3 a matsayin jami'in Horace wa sai kuma daga shekarar 1975 zuwa 1976 aka tura shi zuwa babban rundunar dakarun tsaro dake Dodan Barak a kuma shekarar 1976 zuwa da 77 janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar ya koma shar kwatar dakarun tsaro masu sa jar hula wato kurfau an kuma nada shi babban jami'i wato komanda na sashin bincike a shekarar 1980 zuwa 1982 nuna kwazo da kuma iya tafiyar da aiki ya baiwa janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar damar rike wurare muhimmai a aikin soja wadanda suka hadar da babban jami'in ladaftarwa na rundunar sojin Najeriya wato Director Military Intelligence sai babban jami'i na sashin shari'a a rundunar soji ya kuma zama babban shugaban ma'aikata na rundunar sojojin kasashen Afirka ta yamma wato Ecomog a can kasar Liberia da kuma komandan tawagar sojojin Najeriya a rundunar dakarun Ecomog wato komanda Nigerian contingent Ecomog Liberia sai babban jami'in tsaro ta DMI wato Director Military Intelligence ya kuma rike mukamin babban jami'in ba da horazwa wato Director of Training Defense Headquarters daga shekarar 1995 zuwa da 96 inda kuma a shekarar 1996 aka mai da shi zuwa kwalejin horas da manyan hafsoshi dake jaji a matsayin director a sashin manyan rundunoni 3 wato na ruwa da na kasa da na sama a kuma wannan shekarar ne dai ta 1996 
aka dauke shi daga jaji aka bashi matsayin babban komanda na runduna ta daya wato general officer commanding one mechanized division idan muka yi waiwaye kadan kuwa bayan da gwamnatin mulkin soji ta general ibrahim badamasi baban gida ta kare kirkiro da jahohi a shekarar 1987 ciki har da jahar katsina inda aka nada janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar a matsayin gwamnatin jahar ta katsina na farko a lokacin yana da mukamin kanal a shekarar 1987 mukamin da ya rike har zuwa 1988 gane irin kwazo da hazakar da ya nuna a kasancewar sa gwamnatin jahar katsina na farko da ma yanda ya dora jahar kan turbar ci gaba ya sanya aka maida shi jahar Kaduna wadda ke a matsayin cibiyar arewa inda ya mulki jahar a shekarar 1988 zuwa da 90 a kuma shekarar 1996 zuwa da 99 janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar ya kasance wakili a majalisar zartarwa ta gwamnatin mulkin soji na Nigeria bayan kuma da sojoji suka mika mulki a hannun farar hula a shekarar 1999 sai gwamnatin Chief Olisegun Obasanjo ta tura shi zuwa kasar Rasha inda ya kasance babban jakadin Nigeria a can har zuwa shekarar 2003 baya ga kasancewar sa jakadin kasar ta Rasha an kuma dora masa alhakin kula da harkokin Nigeria a kasashen Belarus da Georgia da kuma kasar Kazakhstan a can kuma zangon shugaba Obasan je na karshe Janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar ya dawo gida Nigeria bayan da aka nada shi mukamin babban mashawarcin shugaban kasa kan harkokin tsaro bayan da shugaban kasa Olisegun Obasan jo ya kammala mulkin sa Sohan shugaban kasa Margayi Malam Umar Musa yar adua ya kara nada ambassador Janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar mai bashi shawara kan harkokin tsaro wato National Security Advisor baya ga wadannan mukamai da Janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar mai retire ya rike ya kuma samu lambobin yabo a ciki da wajen kasar nan wadanda suka hadar da lambar yabo ta kasa wato CFR a shekarar 2006 sai babban lambar yabo ta jahar Katsina a shekarar 1992 da kuma lambar yabo ta soji wato FSSI sai lambar yabo ta kwarewar aiki da kuma wata lambar yabo ta soji sai lambar yabo ta dakarun Ekwamak akwai kuma lambar yabo ta Jamhuriya wato Republic Medal sai lambar yabo ta Tsaro da kuma lambar yabo ta Silba Jubuli da dai sauran su Janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar mai retire ya gudanar da rubuce rubucen littafai a kalla guda bakwai da suka shafi harkokin tsaro da kuma na shari'a haka kuma a tsawon wannan lokaci kama daga tashin sa zuwa yanzu ya ziyarci a kalla kasashen duniya da suka hadar da kasar Saudi Arabia da Amerika da Ingila da kasar Germany da Pakistan Paris Ghana da Hong Kong sai kasar Venezuela da Jamhuriyar Benin da Netherlands da Togo da kuma Liberia sauran kasashen da ambassador Janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar mai retire MNI CFR ya ziyarta akwai Ireland da Turkey da Belarus da Georgia da Russia sai kuma Jamhuriyar Niger idan muka juya ga bacin kungiyoyi Janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar mai retire wakili ne a cikin kungiyoyi guda bakwai da suka hadar da kungiyar lauyoyi ta Najeriya wato MDA kungiyar tsofaffun daliban makarantar MIPS inda ya rike mukamin shugaban kungiyar na reshen jahohin Kano da Cigawa wato AN sai kuma shugabancin kungiyar daliban shari'a na jami'ar Ahmadu Bello ta Zaria yan aji na 80 wakili ne kuma a kungiyar lauyoyi ta duniya da kungiyar kwallon golf ta Kaduna da ta Kano da kuma Tamasco yayin zaka yana da mata guda daya hajjia binta Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar inda Allah ya albarkace su da yaya guda shida maza biyu da mata hudu sai kuma jikoki hudu hakika duk jaha ko kasar da ta samu katarin samun irin wannan da babu abin da ya rage gare ta face yin godiya ga Allah bisa wannan babbar ni'ima bisa al'akari da irin wannan gwagwabar gudunmawa da ambassador Janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar mai retire ya bayar cikin gudanar da rayuwa da kare martabar jaha 
da kasar sa Nigeria ta hanyar sadaukar da kai jajircewa wajen gudanar da aiki ya sanya mu fadada nazari tare da lalubo rukuni daban-daban na al'umma da suka yi rayuwa da shi wannan lalube ya sanya mu yin katarin samun abokansa na kuruciya da ƴan uwansa na jini da suka hadar da yayyansa da ƴaƴan ƴan uwansa da iyalansa har ma da abokan aikin sa na soji da wadanda ya jagoranta zuwa wurare daban-daban har ma al'umomin jahohin katsina da Kaduna wadanda ya gudanar da shugabancin su a baya dukkanin wadannan rukune na al'umma da na bayyana sun yi mana taza da tsifa game da yadda suka gudanar da rayuwa tare da ambassador general abdullahi sarki mukutar mai retire mni cfr to sai dai kafin mu kai ga jin ta bakin wadannan rukuni na al'umma za mu koma ga tarihin rayuwar general abdullahi sarki mukutar inda zamu zakulo kadan daga cikin asalin sa da matsatsan da ya fito daga ciki Malam Ibrahim Khalil shine shugaban majalisar malamai ta jahar Kano kuma mana zarci game da abubuwan tarihi da rayuwa yayi mana karin haske game da salsala da asalin general Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar shi Sarki Mukhtar bageni ne shi kuma bageni ko ginawa wanda yake akwai gidajen ginawa kuma daman shi ya fito daga ginawa na bangaren su Aminu Kano na bangaren Yakasai wanda yake wadannan ginawa suna da wani zakakurin malami wanda yake hamshaki wanda babu kamar sa a zamanin su shine Abdul Aziz Al-Kanawi uh, abokin sarkin Kano Abdullahi uh, Maji Karofi wanda har sukan yi magana har da wani subutocin su da yanzu ba zan iya kawo su da kaina ba to wannan Abdul Aziz wanda yake kasataccen malami ne to akwai dan uwan sa wato Abdullahi Jangowa wanda yake shine kakan mahaifin shi sarki Mukhtar do Abdullahi Jangowa shine wanda ya haifi Abdul Qadir Mala Abdul Qadir Limam Kano wanda yake shine ya haifi Abdullahi Gabindi Abdullahi Gabindi wanda shi ya haifi maga takarda wato Mukhtar mahaifin shi sarki Mukhtar to da ka zamu ga su ganawa sun bada gudumowa muhimmiya a Kano guda uku sun bada gudumowa ta ilimi sun bada gudumowa ta alkalanci kuma sun bada gudumowa ta harkar gudanarwa wato administration domin mahaifin sa maga takarda shine za a ce secretary to secretary kuwa administrator ne dan haka sun bada gudumowa a fugi daban-daban kamar da shi ma kuma in muka kalli cewar ya fito daga wannan gida na ginawa na malanta na alkalanci domin kusan a dacen kafin shekara ta 1970 da wani abu to duk alkalin da gani za ka ga kusan bageni ne to ko da yake shi ba daga bangaren alkalanci ya fito ba daga bangaren malanta ya fito amma za mu ga tasirin malantan nan a jikin sarki mukhtar na farko za mu ga inda ya taimaka wajen ginin ta tafai da kuma wasu abubuwa da yayi na alheri da suke da alaka da addini baya ga jin yadda ambassador Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar mai retire ya samu ta fuskar asali da dangi mun kuma ji ta bakin wasu daga cikin ɗan uwansa na jini da suka kasance tare da shi tun lokacin kuruciya inda muka fara da malam Muhammad Mahe Mukhtar tsohon malamin makaranta da ya shahara a fagen koyarwa wanda ya yayi dalibai masu tarin yawa ciki har da janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar mai retire ga dai malam Mahe cikin zantawar mu da shi alaka dai bi ce ta farko dai kanina ne a gida daya ka haife mu a gida daya muka girma ta biyu kuma ni malamin sa ne a yaro ne mai kirki yaro ne mai ladabi ko kuma to din ce yaro din domin a wannan lokacin yaron ne kuma yaro ne har ziki kuma yaro ne mai kamun kai yaro ne mai kula da addini yaro ne mai kokari domin na koya masa a shekara 1961 zuwa shekara 1962 anan babban primary ta ta gwali ina cikin zakakuran yara 
kuma ina cikin yaran da makaranta take ta kama da su wajen kokari ita ma hajjia karima tu muktar wadda aka fi sani da yaye kari ta yi mana karin haske game da rayuwar ambassador Abdullahi Sarki Muktar inda ta fara bayyana mana alakar ta da shi san ci kani na ne wana san ci rayuwar sa ya kyauce ta shida hankali da nagarta da hazaka da san yan uwan sa ta shida wannan na jin dadin sa kwarai da gaske har kawo warhaka na jin dadin sa akwai zumunci akwai yi kula da yan uwa ina kyautata mana iya kar kokarin sa sai je mu ce kuma Allah ya saka masa da alhairi wangiji Allah ya biya masa Allah ya ra iyalin sa kuma Allah ya jikan mu haifa mu Allah ya gafarta musu Allah ya kyauta namu zuwa barka annabi ya yau mu da yan uwa mu da al'umar annabi du Allah ya ji kansu Allah ya gafarta mu sirri ga duk wanda ya samu zarafin gudanar da rayuwa tun daga kuruciya har zuwa mataki na girma ba ya rasa abokai da suka yi rayuwa tun suna kanana alhaji amini yakubu tsohon jami'in dan sanda ne wanda kuma daya ne daga cikin aminan janar abdullahi sarki mukutar ya bayyana mana wasu daga cikin halayyar su ta kuruciya akwai lokacin da janar ya zo in gwannan ga ni ga shi ga marigayi malan shehu nace da sarki nace tube tube yace me sai ji a wuka yace kai sai shehu ma zai yace kai dai iblis ne kai amini ba ka manta da abin da ya wuce muke dariya sai daga baya je ni ci mai gani nace ba shi yake muka tsawa ba tube tube ne mun ka zan ya ga audi ya ayansa zai bayar shi kai dibiyo ba ka mantuwa kai ma nace wallahi ba na manta kamar yadda tarihi ya nuna cewa an haifu janar abdullahi sarki mukutar a unguwar sauran dinki dake tsakiyar birnin kano mun kuma samu jin ta bakin wasu daga cikin al'ummomin da suka san shi tun lokacin kuruciya janar ina gamma kwalet wadda ya dara ke da tarba kwalet idan suka zo hutu sannan ina kade idan suka zo hutu har Allah Allah miki a ce zo a koma ka san muna da miki saboda mu dau akwatin sa da ni da wani ana cewa jamil rawa ina bin mu baya da kayan soja mu kuma muna alfari mun dako kayan soja da wannan hulan mai gashi alfahar muke da idan na gaji shi wannan jamil lawo kanin kabir lawo shine shine yake karba ta idan ya gaji sai ya karbe ni har zuwa rumfa kwale har zuwa rumfa kwale wallahi haka muke muna 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 alfari mutun ne adali mutun ne jarimi mutun ne ma'aikaci mutun ne mai bankwanci sai dai baka san shi ba in kace baka san sarki ba baka zauna da shi ba in kace sarki ba shi da kirki baka zauna da shi ba sarki ba zai zo wanda ya sani wanda ya sani ya tashi da shi to shine abu kanansa wanda suka wasa ko menene shi sannan kuma wanda ya sani daga baya aboki ne amma ba kamar wanda ya tashi da shi ba aka Allah ya shi sarki ba shi da wani abokin da suke fada ko wani aboki haka kawai su tashi su fata babu shi sarki mutun ne kamile ba ya san munafunci in kuma za ka yi masa munafunci ba ma sai ya saurare ka ba ka dauko zancen su ka zo ka kawo wani to wallahi ba zai saurare ka ba mun yi wale primary school da shi mun zauna da shi makocin mu akwai wani aboki mu wanda yake ana cewa lawan habib architect ibrahim haruna na daya daga cikin wadanda suka gudanar da karatu a sakandiran lardi wato college rumfa ta kano yayi mana bayani game da yadda rayuwar su ta kasance a college rumfa yayi sarki muktar kamar yadda muke kiran shi saboda ka san yadda mu 
na shekarun baya muke girma mu wanda ya dara ka da shekara daya ma to shi a rumfa college muka hadu a ya riga ni shiga da shekara daya ni kuma na shigo in 1964 and to tun lokacin muke tare a Allah da ikon sa Allah ya hada zumunci tsakani na da shi a ya kasance kamar shi wani wane a guri na duk da dai wana yana makarantar a kowa wani yana mai zalunce ni ba na mun cewa da shi da wani bashir dar hatu a su sukan dan kare mu wani lokacin baka raba mu da so kana fada to shi ya sarki shi kullun yana dan tausaya mu yana kare mu shi ya sarki na farko tukuna a ba zan iya tuna wani ajin su ko a house din da ya zauna ma da ke house da ya fi sarki tsafta ba zaka ga kayan su ko da yaushe a goge kalkal a sannan gashi da dagewa akan gaskiya idan duk abin da za a yi in ya ga da zalunci to za a tarkici da shi sai ya kwaci gaskiya daga hannun zalunci to wannan sune abubuwan da suka sa muka shaku da shi kuma mutane da yawa ma suka shaku da shi to ko yaya rayuwar general abdullahi sarki muku tara ta kasance a jami'ar ahmad bella da ke zariya alhaji sirajuddin balarabe yakubu santura ki babba a masarautar zazzau na daya daga cikin wanda suka yi karatun lauya tare a jami'ar ta ahmad bello ga kuma abin da yake cewa to alhamdulillahi na sadu da general sarki tar kuma malik cire bacin karatun soja da janar abdullahi sarki mukutar yayi ya kuma halarci cibiyar manufofi da nazarin muhimman bukatu ta kasa da ke kuru a jos ta jahar fulatu wanda ya samu shaidan nan ta mni ambassador balasani mni na daga cikin wadanda suka halarci wannan cibiya tare ya kuma yi mana karin haske game da kwazan abdullahi sarki mukutar mun yi makaranta da janar mukutar tum muna yara mun yi senior primary tare sannan mun yi secondary to amma abin da ya hada mu kusa shine aikin da muka yi na makarantar nan ta kuru wato nips akwai kowane state ana kafa alumni association to a uh, 2015 sai aka zabi general muktar ya zama shine chairman na Kano da Jigawa chapter ni kuma ni ne matamikin sa to anan muka fi yin aiki sosai muka fi sabo bayan akwai sanayya ta makaranta amma saban 
aikin da muka yi a wannan shine yasa mu muka da fahimta juna kuma na da daga ne basira da Allah ya bashi wajen tafiyar da jama'a da tunani akan yadda za a cimma burin da kungiya ta kafa jaran muktar Allah ya bashi magana da the self confidence sanda aka nada mu ambassadors a 1999 ne an manna irin orientation course din nan a can abuja da tsofofin ambassadors da wanda suke sana'a su sun yema da sauran su da aka zuwa nan course din da aka ga irin gudumawar su da yake contribution sai aka notice din shi aka zuwa aka ce to ai mu wannan general din shine zai zama shugaban yin magana mu wannan abu ya bani shi awa kwarai da gaske domin ba alliance ba ne amma da tsofaffi wanda muke takama da su da suka zo suka yadda kan shine zai zama spokesman din mu kamar yanda aka ji tunda farko mafi yawar rayuwar general abdullahi sarki mukutar mai retire ya gudanar da ita ne a bangaren soji wanda ya kammala da mukamin janar mun ji ta bakin wasu daga cikin jami'an sojojin kasar nan da suka yi aiki na kusa da shi imma a matsayin shugaban su ko kuma kasancewar su yaran sa har ma da wadanda suke gaba da shi a matakin na aikin soji wanda dukkan sun bayyana mana wasu daga cikin halayen janar abdullahi sarki mukutar mai retire Janar Halli Raqil mai retire na daya daga cikin yan asalin jihar Kano wanda ya gudanar da rayuwar sa ta soja a matakai daban-daban yayi mana karin bayani game da Janar Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar Janar Sarki Mukhtar kanni ne gare ni dan muka shiga soja ni na riga su sarki da shi da su magashi shiga soja zuwa na Lagos anan ne muka hadu da sarki kuma muka ci gaba da ma'amala na soja shi yana military police ni infantry ne na yi tafiye tafiye daga bayan na koma military intelligence so military intelligence da police military police suna wuri daya ne a papa saboda ka duka mu muna a fafa inda wani shawara ko wani abu yana bukata ya kan zo office ina a lokacin da Allah ya sa 1984 da aka change mulki na daga shagari zuwa Buhari ni ne na zama DMI lokacin director military intelligence to shi kuma sarki muktar yana military police so dan muna a fafa wani shawarwar da suke so da wani mu'amala duk sai muka ci gaba muna yi dangantaka ta fara tun lokacin nan shi sarki tashin shi ya tashi yanda na gaya muku a military police kuma muna dan mu'amala sosai su zo gidana su office ne su zo office ina to cin sannan na lura yaran mu na Kano suna da azaka kwarai da gaske na farko suna san aikin shi yasa suka shiga na biyu suna da basira sarki yayi rawar gani a sha'anin kariya din da ya dauka yana cikin soja ne sarki ya tafi har university ya karanta law da shi da magashi shi ma magashi ya je karanta law so muka samu yara a turanci ana cewa decent competition suna computing da junan su in wannan yayi abu sai wannan mai ce zai yi to duk 
muka ji dadi gashi duk sun zama suna soja din dai amma sun kuma karanta lo to duk da haka dai bai bar military police din ba har sai lokacin da general baban gida ya zo ya zama shugaban kasa muka zo muna kirkiro sababbin states akai sababbin states a lokacin nan na san an raba Kaduna zuwa da Kaduna state da Katsina state dan ne muka ga wasuwa ne ne yaran da za su iya tafi da jagorancin wa'annan sababbin state din to ka san ko in ba ka da hazaka ba ka da basira ba za a dauko ka a ba ka sabo state ba to wanda aka dauko sarki muktar kenan an kai post na shi zuwa Katsina ya je Katsina ya tara jama'a manya manya ya bi da basira shi ya gina sabo state din nan shi ma wazirin ringim Alhaji Sagir Muhammad wanda tsohon jami'in soji ne mai retire ya bayyana mana wasu daga cikin halayen ambassador Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar general Abdullahi Sarki Mukhtar tsohon mai ba da shawara akan harka security ta Nigeria na san shi yayi ana ne kuma mun yi aiki na soje tare da shi kuma ga gida na ga gidan shi ni ina sama shi na kasa idan kana neman mutum mai sanin ya kamata mai riki aiki mai adalci mai wato tabbatawa cewa duk abin da zai yashi akan ka'ida da gaskiya to an ka sami jira sarki muktar takari ina fada maka wallahi mutun ne wanda in dai kaje gurin shi ba abin da za ku magana sai dai magana gaskiya da addini kuma kaman da na fada maka wato yayi aiki daban-daban a soja a yayi GOC yayi komanda na brigade of guards hmm aiki da daban-daban mutun ne mai mutunci mai sanin ya kamata mai adalci hmm mai san mutane hmm mai hakuri wannan shine takaitaccen abin da dan fada maka akan da sarki muktar kuma ni yaya ne ne domin uwar gidan shi kan wata ce domin a yayanta sarkin dawaki mai tuta a alhaji amini babba babban amini na ne ba na da amini da ya wuce shi wato samun irin sarki muktar masu dabiya irin tashi wanda ba abin da zaka sa a gaba sai aikin aikin da tabbatar da mutuncin aikin da tabbatar da gaskiya da tabbatar da adalci da inda koda za a mutu sai dai a mutu hmm to gaskiya a akwai wahala amma dai a abin da ya kamata na baya shi koyi da shi shine na daya shi rike adalci shi rike amana shi rike abin da suka rantse da Allah za su yi a cikin soja kuma su tabbata cewa abubuwa wa'inda suke dabbaka mutunci na soja shi rike shi ba abubuwan da muke gani yanzu ba abubuwan da muke gani yanzu sabanin abin da aka sani ne kuma dole ne a uh, mita adu'a ko mana kai kukan mu ga Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya gyara mana al'amuran mu amma barin ba ka misali jana sakin muktar yana gwamna sun je mitin da gwamnoni to ko na gwamna akan bashi minti goma yayin magana akan abubuwa da suka shafi kasa ko wata shawara da zai bayar ga shugaban kasa
kowa mun ti goma ake bashi da aka zo kan jinar sarki muftar yayi goma yayi 15 yayi 20 yayi da biyar sai wani rubuta mishi wani ya rubuta masa ya ce ma diya sa ka fa wuce abin da aka yi har kalinka ka saki ka kai har sai shi president yace me aka ce sai muka ce ga wanda yake abin da muke fada masa ya wuce sai yace abin da yake fada shi nake so in ji wanda kuma na so in ji an ba shi minti goma hmm kuma ku tuna a wasu abubuwa lokacin da aka yi kokarin jiyun mulki na dimka eh ina brigade of guards sune wanda suka hada aka je aka tabbata cewa wannan jiyi mulki bai ci nasara ba ba zan shiga cikin wannan abubuwa ba kuma idan duk abin da ka je gurin sa ka fada masa ko ka yi magana sosai ka ce ga abin da ka ya kawo ka kaza da kaza da kaza ba da kwana kwana ba ya baka ansa ko kuma ka tashi ka tafi dan ba zai magana ba in ka zo da masa maganar banza ba zai magana ba to idan ka hada wannan sai ka ga da gaskiya da riƙon amana da mutunci in ka hada wannan ai an sami mutun ko eh kuma ina so ka tabbata shine irin abubuwan nan da ake cewa a mando sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya ce duk shugaba sai ya rike abu guda hudu hmm to shi kullun abin da yake yi ya tabbata cewa shi kansa a matsayin sa na shugaba da kuma shugabanni wanda suke gaba da shi su rike wannan abubuwa guda hudu wanda mando sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya ce menene na daya ka kare addini menene biyu ka kare jinin mutane rayukansu mena uku dukiyar su mena hudu nasaba menene saba in mutane ba musu bayani ba za su gane abin da ake nufi da nasaba ba abin da ake nufi shine ku kare al'uma kada ta lalace ake ta samun aulad zuna ya'yan zuna su ne wa'anda suke fitowa suke kashe kashe dan ba su tare kowa ba su da uba ba su da kowa saboda kowa ma su kashe shi to irin wayannan abubuwa da nake fada maka shine kullum yake magana ayi kaza ayi kaza kar ayi kaza ayi kaza kuma wallahi bari mu fada maka ko za a kashe shi abin da ya fada ba zai canja ba ba zai canja ba akwai wani ba zan iya ba zan iya ba zan fada maka ba sai mun gama wannan abin zan fada maka domin ya shafi wasu hmm amma wato idan ka samu mutane irin sarki muftar a cikin al'umma sai gode Allah alakar janar abdullahi sarki muftar mai retire ta aiki bata tsaya ga iyakacin al'umar da suka fito daga yankin sa na arewa ko addini daya ba wanda hakan ya sanya wasu daga cikin manyan jami'an soji da suka bambanta da shi ta fuskar yare da addini wanda kuma suka san shi lokacin yana aikin soja bayyana mana halayyar sa wadda ta haifar masa da samun nasara a rayuwa suka yi general umar sanda uwa ci kuma retire cewa yayi eh sarki lokacin da yake a brigade of gas aga ake shi yaje Samu Ilimi Ahmad Bello University JR Estad in law Takachang Aka Akoshi Zwa Military Police DK Provost Marshal Lokachin Yazo Danahangeshi Nasang Mana Officer of San Desdemana Aiki Mekione Kuma say Naga yana so ya san ko menene ake ba ya son a bashi order je yi abin da bai kamata ba in kuma aka bashi zai tambaye me me yasa za haka 
Sai she Sariki, which men creaky ne, of a sanawa, the go back a chain with a yaki, catch it, the water, Zaka Jade, she sent it, Sasakin at the chicken soup. A dung Sariki, Yasa Aikin soldier, Yana son Aikin soldier, Gaganshi, a uniform Nashi, a Kaman Zaka Kai, Kaman Zaka Lashish, and the dung, dung, dung. Uniform Nashi Yanada Nimbersang Yan Sangai, a Yana, yes, I know from the Gashi Gana, the doctor Kuma Kuma Yana Sung Abu Kuma Kuma Uniform Yakar Peshi Sariki Dietic King of Sotina Akachimana was Akache Kachimana. Dawa dawa kake so ka aiki da shi zan ce shi da cikin su ne kuma sarki da shi da banta war gran shi suna da kakanan na mutane eh sarki in ka ce mashi ga abun muke so mu yi ba za ka koma ka ce mashi me 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 sa ba 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 dan ka kula da iyalin ka ka kula da mutane a karshen shi an love bai 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 waka tsawon rai ba sabilar da kanka da mutane ne ina so ne nan ka ba ka ta kula da mutane kuma ka kula da iyalin ka Allah ya taimake ka amin Hajia binta kachikundu kakasana Obana Moses Maduka Machuku Obana House of Fulani Obana Ivo Jiasa So 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 na na E.K. Omar Sanda Machuku I am General E.K. Omar Sanda Machuku A Senator of the Fair Republic of Nigeria And a pretty happy retired person as it were now uh, what do you know about uh, General Saraki Mukhtar? Yes, uh, Saraki is a very uh, intelligent uh, officer of mine, uh, one of whom I can place my trust in any time. Uh, he is brilliant, uh, he is got suave, uh, he is fantastic in uniform. You're looking at uh, Sarki in uniform, uh, you'll feel like being an officer. Uh, today, I just wonder what some of officers uh, uh, look like. Uh, I would want to recommend them to look at Sarki when he was an officer and see how he donned his uniforms and how he was proud uh, to be an officer of the Nigerian Army. Having said that, uh, he came to me having graduated from uh, Ahmad Bello University, where he read law. Uh, before then, he had been in the Brigade of Guards. And uh, while he was at school there in ABU, uh, I was posted from uh, the School of Infantry, Jaji, where I was commandant, to be uh, the head of the Nigerian Army Military Police Corps. Uh, and has set in motion at the time a program uh, in which my officers, uh, men and women as it were at the time, had the opportunity to uh, go to school, have, like they say, a second address, uh, to improve the quality of officers in the Corps and the quality of officers in the Nigerian Army as it were. 
Uh, so Saruki, having graduated from ABU, came uh, to the military police corps. And I met him as a young officer. Uh, he was, uh, like I said, noticeable. Uh, he spoke very well. He fashioned his thought uh, in a pretty processed manner. Uh, he would argue with you uh, uh, to uh, make sure that what he's been asked to do is the correct thing to do. He wasn't afraid at all to stand his ground. But when you had a superior argument, uh, he would uh, bow to that. Uh, those that don't know Sarki would have thought he was argumentative or he uh, uh, was not disciplined, but that's not true. Uh, I like my officers to, to disagree with me if I'm wrong. Uh, and then when I'm right and I made it a decision, then they would go ahead and implement uh, to the best of their ability. Sariki is loyal, uh, Sariki is smart, Sariki is uh, not troublistic in any which way you want to take it. Uh, he, is a, he was a great professional uh, officer. So after retirement, you know, some officers after retirement they forget their colleagues. Right. But do you normally contact each other? Yes, they do. I mean, he he reaches me quite often, and so he saw the colleagues and also called them once in a while. Uh, lastly, I like to say that Sariki followed my career pattern in some ways. Uh, he also became provost marshal of the Nigerian army and became a military governor. Uh, of Kaduna State when I was GOC 1 mechanized division. Became a GOC himself and retired from that job like I did. So, Sariki, uh, very well done. I'm very proud of you. During Era Edward's time, he was the National Security Advisor. Yes. So, what can you say about it? Whether he performed his duty well or...? Yes, at, at, at that time I'd left service uh, and, and, and I was no no longer in, in close contact with his work. But looking at the security situation in the country at the time, he managed that aspect very, very well. So what can you say about the current security situation in Nigeria now? We all know that we're, we're dire, dire times. Uh, no one ever thought we'll come to the stage in our country, but we're there now. Uh, I would just mainly appeal to every Nigerian, no matter his or her background, uh, religion or creed or sex, uh, to embrace this country and try to sort out all our differences. Uh, it won't be done in a jiffy but it can be done progressively once you have, the, have, a, have a plan in place. Follow it to the letter, be accommodating, and do the best we can to give the military and the security forces every intelligence they require to combat the present very, very difficult situations in, in which they find themselves. Uh, the military can only be as good as the people uh, whose responsibility it is to employ them. Uh, the Nigerian citizens are the employers of Nigerian military. And if we don't support them, they can't perform as well as they ought to. I want to use this opportunity again to commend the efforts of the Nigerian military and what they've done so far. I think they can do much, much better if they have the support of Nigerians and if the government funds them and equips them adequately. The Nigerian soldier is known to be brave and courageous, uh, never cowering to any enemy. But when you begin to see a situation where our soldiers seem to be uh, be, be cowering under 
the pressure of groups like Boko Haram. Uh, you can only feel for them and pray government to give them all the support they require to end this very, very bad security situation in our country. In 1991, <coughs> when uh, Kazana State was created, yes. General Saraki Mukhtar was the first military governor. Yes. And by then you are still in service. Yes, I was. So to manage a new state is not an easy task. Right. What can you say about uh, how he managed the... Well, permit me to be biased here. Uh, uh, Saraki, like I said, is, is one of my best officers. And, uh, and, and when I say this, I mean every word of it. He did a fine job there. And as you probably know, Katsana is my other state. And so I had a very, very keen interest in knowing how he'll perform. And he did a, a good job of it. So lastly, what advice can you give to the young ones? Well, first, uh, every young person who uh, find himself, herself in position of authority must know that it's not for his sake that he's there or she's there or for the sake of the people. You must make sure you are highly, highly educated, highly enlightened, highly knowledgeable in what you're doing and very, very strong in ensuring that you perform your duty to the best of your ability, not giving any iota of doubt as to your ability to do the job to which you've been appointed. And as Sarki is turning 70, I understand you're turning 70. Sarki, I wish you a longer life. The prosperity you already have but to remember all the time that God didn't keep you alive this long for your sake but for the sake of others. And I know you do nothing other than to work for humanity, to ensure there's peace, understanding and tolerance in our country and to ensure that no matter where you come from, that Nigerians are Nigerians and they all be treated equally. Uh, still, uh, you know, there's one proverb that says you can't succeed without the support of a good wife. What can you say about Sarki Mukhtar and his wife? Oh, Hajia uh, Binta. Yes. Hajia, Hajia, Hajia Binta. Uh, you know, you're my mom's uh, namesake. Uh, she also was Hajia Binta. Uh, you've done so well. Uh, you've looked after Saraki so much and the family. Uh, without a good wife, you, Saraki wouldn't have been the kind of officer he became. Cause he had a balance at home. He had peace at home. Uh, so he was able to do his job properly. I understand you are still, still working. I know that the, the, the mix between you and Saraki and the way you run your homes You'll extend that to where you work yourself. And those who work with you would realize that you're just not only a boss, but a mother and a sister. Uh, you've been that to Sarki himself. And Sarki, I'm sure, uh, wouldn't have done as much as he done in the Nigerian army and his extra regimental duties uh, if he didn't have you as his wife. So very well done, Hajia. Chima Janal, Paul Tarfa, may retire Wanda Babanjami in Sojini. The Sukaya Aiki Tare, the General Abdullahi Sarki Mukutar, may retire. Ga Abin Deki Chiwa. I found him last Abishi. Come on, officer, and my Joseph say, Wanda or two, the day up a day boom, that's okay. Officer, no one day, very smart, Bob in the damage, clean. Officer, I wonder what is so reliable. He had a yapper. My career throughout, okay, Chenekitadin. 
kanta ba sami shi ta wani laifi cewa yayi ƙarya ko ko ya fure wani abin da muke wata ba har lokacin da nake progress masha lokacin shi major any time ko yaushe ina tafiya sai ya ce gashi ta kya na family nawa sai na dawo bai da cin amana mutun kirki ne shi daga can kuma sai lokacin da zuwa commandant na Nigerian defense academy 1984 can kuma Allah ya dan shi ne ina komanda shi yana battalion komanda ya yi da sergeant aikin shi kuma very well as battalion komanda so sarki shi da ya daga cikin ofisoshi shi da na yake shi kuma wanda nake ba shi respect so much saboda halin shi abin da ke so kenan ko ya gane cewa idan mutum ya da hali mai kyau shi ne za a duba babu zamba a ciki babu ƙarya so haka na dauke shi har yanzu shiri na musamman kan tarihin rayuwar ambassador general abdullahi sarki muftar mai retire si